This 1982 vintage gold wing barn find was laying on its side for a number of years. It's in pretty rough shape. We're gonna see if we can get it running and driving once again. <laughs> Welcome back, I did it again. We found this 1982 Honda Goldwing and I fell in love with it, I had to have it. It was, it's a bike that is a true barn find. I don't, it was sitting in a barn for at least 20 years. We found registration in there from 20 years ago, so that was pretty neat. But I absolutely love this bike and here's the reason why. This bike, not this exact same one, but a bike right like it, my wife got me for Christmas one year. This was my very first bike and I had to sell it several years ago now and saw this one and it reminded me so much of that one. And so I had to get it. Now it's been sitting a long time. I'll take you around and show you what I know. It needs a lot of love. But I think, I think we can get the thing up and going again. So stay tuned, but we'll see if we can get it running and driving and cruise around some of the beautiful back roads here in Pennsylvania uh, in the next couple of days here. All right, so here she is. She's been sitting. It's filthy dirty. It was actually laying on its side, he said, in the barn for a number of years. You can see there's mud all packed up in there. Somebody, somewhere along the line, decided they were going to try to stand her back up, and they did. But it's, it's rough. Yeah, <laughs> the fork seals are leaking. Look at that brake rotor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a goodie. I understand most people probably would say it's a parts bike, but, well, I think, I think we can save it. This one has... I don't know, it brings back a lot of memories just looking at this bike. First bike, it's a huge bike for his first bike, but it, that's what it was. Oh, look at that, the antenna. Huh. Oh, that's neat. So, Goldwing Aspencade. Everything's here. The seat is actually not in bad shape. It's not even really crunchy. I thought it would be all crunchy, but it's, it's not. We don't have a key for it. That's going to be an issue. Brakes totally locked. I mean, nothing moves. It does have 21,373 miles on it, which is actually low mileage for one of these old gold wings. Uh, mine had 122,000 on it when I got rid of it. Put a lot of miles on the thing. We do have that little cover right there. We found that in the barn. Got some things here like the uh, plastics are broken up lots of different rust and things going on and that was locked up solid as well take you around the back that lights broken out gonna have to source one of those actually there's a lot of these parts bikes around most of these went by way of parts that needed too much work so we have that cover here or the, the saddlebag I think the reason this thing was parked that caliper is off and you can see it has been off for a very long long time i mean it was just it was just kind of hanging out here we had to pry it off but it was somebody had tried taking it loose the bolts were out we found those and we found the caliper well the caliper was attached we pried it off and then we can at least push the bike yep it's got the uh hydraulic suspension on the back and uh, it's all leaked out but it's got the side covers on it and I mean, overall, I mean, it can all be cleaned up. It doesn't move. The shifter does. We found neutral. It took a while. It's got a radio. Well, <laughs> doubt any of that works anymore. Wish we had a key, but we don't. Clutch. Ooh, it doesn't come all the way back up, but it, it does work. So that, that's great. One of the things, I don't know if the engine's locked up or not, but we're gonna have to pull this timing cover. You know, have a look at that timing belt in there. This is supposed to be changed kind of like a car every once in a while, otherwise the valves and the pistons have an up close and very personal meeting and nobody likes it. I forget what the mileage interval was. Wasn't it something like 10,000 miles? If you know, leave it in the comments, let me know if that's even necessary to change them that often. I don't know. Cars are what? Usually 100,000? So yeah, fork seals. Yeah. It's going to need some work. 
course I'd want to put new tires on. That one's really not bad, the front one. The back one is, is shot. It's very, very flat. And you can probably see some of the dry rot cracks in there. I wouldn't trust that tire to go very far. Maybe just around the block to make sure the thing runs. So, you know what? I'm gonna give the thing a wash and uh, hopefully it'll look a little better. My son, Ben, is coming over here shortly. And we're going to push it off the little trailer, get it in the basement and uh, start working on it. There, she looks a lot better. You can see how nice this bike will clean up. I still can't believe how nice that seat is. Most of these things are shot. No, this one will clean up good. I don't know how, like that valve cover and stuff like that, there's still some mud packed in there from laying outside. But I believe like this stuff will kind of clean up pretty good. In there, we get it all off and get some chrome polish on it. Of course, the mirrors ought to be replaced, but yeah, I think I think it'll clean up. Looks a lot better. I'm gonna see if it actually runs. I have no idea if it's locked up. I, mean, I do know the throttle is locked up solid. That doesn't do anything. So oh, that's one thing that actually moves. Not much on this bike actually does much. So we'll find out what all we can get working again. Ah, Ben. Why? What do you think of my my latest? investment that's uh it's, it's unique <laughs> looks like it's gonna require a whole bunch of elbow grease <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's see if we can get this thing in the garage and uh fired up yeah well fired up yeah sure <laughs> mm -hmm. we're gonna see if we can get it cranking at least see if the engine's free and i believe you do that oh it's not free Come back here no no well, paid for but it. it was almost free yeah. i hardly paid anything for it <laughs> <laughs> but i think on these you take that is that the starter there what no that's like a, that? a stator oh take that bolt out the back of it and that's you can get to the the crank oh to crank the engine over by hand so we're actually gonna try to do that instead of just firing it up yes oh, okay. i think so it's been sitting long enough laying on its sides i feel feel like we probably should Wait, it was laying on its side yeah he said it was laying on its side for a long time long several years long, long oh long great time. all right we got it off that was pain. a pain it's heavy. heavy extremely heavy so we did get air in the back tire it holds air that was was good i don't like these valve stems they just stick right down into the rim the inner part of the rim Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna see if we can push this thing and see if it turn over. Yep. Ready? Nope. <laughs> clutch is out. Keep the clutch in. It doesn't make a difference, hardly. Light it out? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep. <laughs> clutch ain't doing hardly anything. Well, or is the engine turning over? I think it is. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I heard it hit compression stroke. Yeah. The clutch isn't doing squat. It's not disengaging. No. I don't know if the clutch will free up or not if we get it running and jam her down in gear with the clutch in. Yep, I'll find out. Um, learned a little trick from the bearded mechanic guy used to work for Bikes and Beards, wasn't it, Greg? Um, he did one of these gold wings and he just popped this thing open right down here. Oh. Just like that, without a key. What? So, uh, that works, so thank you. Thank you, Greg, for that yeah. tip. Yeah. That's great, I appreciate it. By the way, hey, if you're watching this, we should go out for lunch sometime or something. We don't live too far from each other. Let's get together. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Got inside right. of here. I was looking inside the gas tank. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, not as bad as what I would thought. Time to see down in there. Okay, there's lots of chunks. Yeah, I was expecting worse. At least it's empty. Mm, sure. It's all leaked out. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, nah, that stuff smells like 120 year old fuel, not 20 year old fuel. All right. Well, we got it inside of our our uh, drive-in basement. Yeah. We don't we don't have a garage, so we're going to start working at it. We do know the engine's not locked up, which is really nice. Yep, the clutch wasn't working, but... Yeah, we're going to try to figure that out. 
Yep. Hopefully, once we get it running and we just quick jam it down into gear or something like yeah, that, or it'll pop. Rev it. With the it cable on. works. Yeah, the cable works. But it does not it's, releasing. The clutch discs are stuffed yeah. together inside there. Yep. Of course, the that's the throw the yeah. Whew. The starter <laughs> button is completely locked up yet. Good news. I sprayed it, let it sit overnight. Sprayed the carburetors right where the throttle linkage is, and now the linkage it's really stiff yet, but the linkage moves and returns on its own. Nice. Slowly, but it returns on its own. We're gonna work at this thing. First thing we're gonna do is put it up on the center stand. I'll show you how to do that. These things are fierce heavy to put on a center stand, just in case you're ever wondering how in the world you're supposed to get it on by one person. But all right, I'm gonna show you how to put it on the center stand. In case you're ever wondering, one of these heavy, heavy bikes, these things weigh like what, 725 pounds empty? Whoa, so like that, you about drop it. <laughs> um, to do it one person, put your foot here on the center stand, get it to where it's fairly centered. You got one hand on here, one hand on this other grab bar here, and you pull up and push down on that at the same time. And it just pulls it right up. Still heavy, but at least it outs up on the center stand. And to pull it off the center stand, you just push it front like that. So that's all there is to it. So again, push it down, just like that. She looks fairly easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still not quite easy, but that's the way it's done. Now we're gonna start working on it. See what we can, I don't know, what do you think we should start? Let's just see if we can get it to crank over first, maybe? I guess so. Yeah, oh, well, or you wanna check the timing belt? Oh, we should before we start cranking it, because it does have a timing belt. And it's an interference engine. Well, and we know it's not broke because no. we were towing around. It sounded fine, but okay. How do so, you even check? Well, we got to pull this cover off. Take two 10 millimeter bolts out, mm. and we'll pull that timing cover off. Wow, this thing is dirty, crusty. All right, crusty. Eleven hundred. That's a massive, massive engine. Four carburetors. Two on this side, two on the other side. It looks as if. Yeah. Cool, and boxer motor, kind of like a Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah, more Subaru engine. More Subaru. <laughs> a little different. Mm -hmm. Same concept, has time belt. <laughs> <laughs> and you got two cylinders on each side. Yep. The boxer go, go in and out like that. All right. <laughs> My knees are shot from too many years of kneeling, working on stuff. So I use pansy pads. All right, let's get these eye out. 10 millimeter. Yes, 10 millimeter, if that's the way you want to say it. Want a light on the subject? Hmm. Light on the subject. Still can't see. Okay. <laughs> we'll probably look at it. Uh, yeah, that shot. Put it back together. <laughs> as long as it's not going to break. Because it breaks and then you got, you know, it's supposed to be nice and harmoniously married, but they mm. come colliding together and... When you have pistons and valves colliding together, well, it's never a good thing. Nope. Don't they make ratchet wrenches? They do, and I have one too, but not in my yeah. hand. <laughs> <laughs> Got any crackage going on there? Ooh, hard to see right now. Okay, well, I'll have to pull it the rest of the way off. <laughs> Can't see anything. You know what? I think I'm just gonna get a ratchet wrench. That'd be smart. Why well, work smarter when you can just work twice as hard? Power grip. That's obviously not a Honda belt, but the belt actually doesn't look terrible bad. Okay. Can we see in here at all? You can see down the side of there or not. Try to zoom down in there. Can't really see what much, but it's rusty, but it's there and it's not completely falling apart. So we're gonna send it. Yep. Actually, it's not only seen the dry rock cracks. Yeah. So I think we're gonna be all right. I mean, looks like the rest of the bike. Yeah. Not bad, but not great. <laughs> Actually, it's really not great at all, but the seat's pretty great. The seat's not bad at all. Like, I don't want to sleep on it, but it's not bad. It's pretty bad when the seat's your favorite part of the bike. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try to get this starter button freed up. You can push on it, but it, it does nothing. So I got a couple screws in there. Maybe if I take it apart, it'll just Free up, or maybe I'll just put a pliers on here and start pulling them. We oh. or start pulling on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe a hammer. I might free up. I think it's actually stuck out. Yeah. So if we 
just send it on in there. Ooh. Slowly, <laughs> slowly send it in there. I think we good. Fixer 101 here. <laughs> Hurts my head. Well, yeah, that seems solid enough. So what, stuck out, right? I think so. Oops, it moved a little bit, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, now we're in a continual, continual cranking mode. Yes, now all we have to do is just turn the key on and it'll, it'll start. <laughs> and we turn the key off. And... <laughs> the key that we don't have. Yeah, we'll, we'll make a key work. So if I drill a little hole in there, put it easy out. Oh my. I can pull it back out. You know, there's a couple of screws right in the bottom of that. They thing. look horrible. They do look pretty bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. I'm just one in. They are really, really ugly, but they might come loose. They might. It'd be it's nice to get it freed up. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. That battery's been in there for a while. While Ben's working at that starter button up there, I'm gonna pop this battery out. We have another one here that we're charging. And then we're gonna see. Ooh, that screw turns. Ooh. That's really weird. Ben's actually having some success. Yeah, Phillips head screw actually didn't strip out and just turn. It's better than a flat head screw. Yeah. I don't know if people use those. Those are just not great. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see if we can get it cranking over at least. These carburetors are moving. Don't know if they're <laughs> gonna be any good or not, but we're gonna find out. How's that going for you, Ben? Well, you're supposed to take this screw out here, pull the whole switch out, but I'm trying to get a pick in here and just manually mm -hmm. work it back and forth. So I got to come out a little bit. You can't see it's, it used to be like flat. Now it's a little mm. bit of a nubby there, so. Okay. I guess we'll keep working at it. Yep. We could keep pushing back and forth. I have some movement, so. All right, doing this the right way again. Drill in a couple little holes in here. Maybe we can get some. Perfect. Get some penetrating oil and penetrating oil to me. Yep. Good old peanut butter blaster. Yeah, but I, I found this out recently. There is nowhere on this that actually says PB blaster. It says PB. Blaster up here. Not even in the PB blaster order. Eh? Doesn't, it never says peanut butter blaster or PB blaster. Just anywhere. blaster. Blaster, and then there's two letters on it that says PB. Well, why are we calling it peanut it's butter just, blaster? It's just blaster. Well, that's boring. Anyway, but there's a PB on it. Don't know what it stands for. <laughs> Paul yeah. Burns, maybe. I don't, I don't know who he is. I don't know. We could put a new switch in there, but that would be extra. <laughs> We're also teaching everybody what to do if, you know, if they don't have the accessibility of one. Now you're out in the woods or something and your switch freezes up. Why would you be in the woods on your motorcycle? Camping. <laughs> okay. On a gold wing. I mean, we've done it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I guess I couldn't, shouldn't say anything. We've done it. We've been in the woods, off-roading in the rain. On your street bike. Yeah, that one. That was miserable. <laughs> but did it. All right, what do we got going on here now? Well, I'm trying to clean up the wiring a little bit for the starter solenoid since that switch up there is just not going to work. I think... Ooh, I've got them a bit cleaner. Not quite so corroded. Yeah, so we're gonna make some contact in here. That one's not too bad. So if we can just go, yeah, just like work. that. We're we'll probably gonna need a battery though. Yes. Suspension. I like how they pointed out the obvious. No joke. <laughs> what else would that be? It says air suspension. Oh, I just said suspension. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grab the battery and stick it in there. Yeah. At least see if it cranks, see if we can get, I don't know if the starter works at all. We'll find out. Starter down there. Mm hmm Hey, uh, do we need gas? Or do we gonna see if it cranks first? We're gonna see if it cranks <laughs> first. Yeah. You said you want a flashlight? I got two flashlights in my pocket. Yeah, that's where mine got to. <laughs> <laughs> Progress much? Okay, I don't know who came up with motorcycle <laughs> batteries. <laughs> it was an unintelligent design. Engineers. We got some sparky sparks. No. That's good. That's really good. It's keys off. Shouldn't have anything going on. Okay. Yeah. The keys off, otherwise known as the key is not existent. Yeah. Now it's the same on a car. You always hook the positive side up first and negative side last. Um, and the reason being is if you hit anything, you know, between the negative side and the, the frame, you're not going to, you're not going to create a bunch of heat and sparks. It's not, it's a lot less fun that way, but hey. Yeah, that's boring. It's successful. Okay. Fire in the hole. We need a key or something or screwdriver or wire touchy. Yeah, this is just sending power directly to the starter. So it should crank whether the key's on or not. Yep. 
which our battery might be dead. It's entirely possible. Wow, I am very sorely tempted just to eliminate that. Uh-huh. Sorely tempted. Sorely. It's like a confusing jump box you got yourself there. Yeah, and then you gotta put this little button where it says boost. And it's only good for like 15 seconds or so. Hey. Yeah. We have crankage. And it's also we have compression. I mean, it's not it's not happy about crankage, oh, but my jump box quit. Oh. Should probably take the spark plugs out. True. Which those look really, really tough to take out. Yeah. We can yeah. we can get it cranking over a little better. Yep. Sounds like it has compression though. Sounds like it has really good compression. Okay, well don't do this. I mean since we don't have a key for it. Yep. And yeah, I know you can get one made and all that. Yep. So here's the deal. I wanna try to get this down in there and just turn it. I don't know. I, I feel like it's not gonna work, but either way it's gonna ruin it. I, I apologize for the cringe worthiness of it. It makes me cringe too. But hey, we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, solid. And now, something turned on. You're right. Hey, I hear some buzzing. I hear speakers buzzing. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, this light lit up. What? Will it turn off? Oh. Yeah. Psh. There we go. Key on, key off. Key on. Can I adjust the radio? Was this the radio? I think it's the radio. Yeah. Oh, it's the volume. Do we have any stations? Hey, oh. Turn the volume down a little. 88. Where are you seeing the, uh, right here? Oh, AM. Is that AM or FM? FM. How do you get the channels? There's AM. Low, AM low, what does that mean? We're not FM used, low. We're not used to radios, folks. No, I have no idea we're doing a radio. That's so old school. There. ST. That's for stereo. Oh. But <laughs> you should be way, where do you go through the These through are the presets, nothing works. Well, probably this goes through channels. Oh yeah, yeah, that doesn't, doesn't work. All right, we got 87.9, that's about it. You turn it off and it doesn't go off. Oh, there. Hey, it went off. Oh, we got a clock. What do we do with a clock? One, is that right time? What is that, 113? It's not gonna be right. It's actually really close, oddly <laughs> That's enough. That's insane. <laughs> Ooh, I think our voltmeter even works, let's see. Ooh, now cool. it yeah, it went down. Oh yeah, the clock stays lit? That's gonna be nice and run the battery down. Voltmeter's going back up. Horn down a horn. With the key on? Well, I would imagine that's key on because it's the lights are lit. Okay, well, do we have anything going on with lights? Is our key all the way on, or is it just in like the auxiliary position? It might be just in the accessory. Accessory, yeah. Yeah, it's off accessory. Okay. Probably comments. It takes 15 minutes to pop that switch out. Probably, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it, and. I don't really feel like knowing how to. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind knowing. Okay. I don't want to take the time to figure out how to know to. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> about right. <laughs> Oi. Oi. Oh. Hey, that oh. light went out. <laughs> There's on. And start. Oh, there we oh. go. Horn. We have horn. Okay, so. Ignition's on. Ignition's on. Kind of got that to work. Okay, it says it's in neutral. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a high beams. Oh yeah, okay. So they are, do a light check. Oh, we actually have tail Hello. lights or yeah, front lights. Let me zoom out a little bit here. No turn signals. They did dim down, like they dim. Yeah, yeah, let's do that really oh. fast. Got like four ways going on. So they don't flash. How about a high beam, low oh. beam again? Huh. Oh, hey. Ooh. Kind of, they try. How about brakes? Which we're missing stuff back here, not. Oh, hey, we have a light back here. Is the brakes working? 
Brake lights? No. No. I can hear the How click, about the click, foot click. pedal brake light? That thing doesn't even move. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm oh, impressed. okay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed that that many lights are working. And yeah. The, and the horn. Yeah, kind of. Okay, now. Fire it up. Let's see if it cranks. I don't know if it will because the battery's still pretty weak. you have weak. all the plugs out? Yeah, the plugs are out. Hey. Okay, it cranks. It does. So let's put a spark plug in there to see if we actually have spark. That would be amazing. Yeah, that would be, be phenomenal. It yeah. stinks though, something stinks. Yeah, old fuel. No spark. Okay, okay. That would be too easy if it actually had spark. That would be amazing, but it doesn't. We're gonna have to do something about there's a one piece of something in there, down the ignition. Just zoom in on that. If we can get that out. Oh, there's a chunk of something down there. Then it would be significantly easier to turn this key on and off. All right, well, we decided to do it the right way. We got it unplugged. We got it unplugged. Should've done that in the first place. Mm -hmm. So we're going to now, now jump some wires across. We're thinking that since that wasn't doing much, turned on but it might be eliminating our spark issue i mean yeah causing our spark issue <laughs> <laughs> not eliminating our yeah. spark issue <laughs> yes not so, eliminating it now Creating we're going it now we're going to try to actually jump some wires across and see if we got sparky power so we have some wires jumped across up here at the plug so now we're going to see if that was our spark issue or not kind of doubt it hmm. but maybe Okay. Okay. Starter crank's nice though. It does. Now we decided we're gonna pull the seat off, which to pull the seat off on these, you gotta pull the saddlebags as far as we can tell, unless there's another way. And uh, pull the seat off to pull the false tank off so we can get to the ignition coil so that we can see what's going on as far as if we're getting power to the ignition coil. Or... You're noisy. I was going the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> Were you born that noisy? You get that way over time. Over time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got it off. Eh, eh. Right, there's a wire hanging on. Now eh. oh, I got the seat off. And I don't know what's going on here. Looks like cotton. Cotton, but it's a little like maybe some stuffing from inside of a teddy bear or something. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, now we gotta get that false tank off. Okay, that false tank. It connects back up in here. Yeah, you gotta get the bolt from inside. Hey, at least you can get to it. Well, let me get a magnet. Yeah, you can get to it. Is she loose now or? Yeah. Close. Yeah, I'm not doing this right. Nope. Didn't really expect it to be done, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you got me on that one. Uh -huh. We got that stinking cover off. Pain the butt. It was. Now we're gonna take the air cleaner off. Try to find the coil. Still don't know where that's at yet. Eh, it's it's somewhere in here. Actually, not bad. I was expecting. That. Not bad. It's not no. even all full of mouse turds. So the air cleaner didn't even look terrible. No, I mean a couple of little spiders going on, but. And where's your coil? Right here. There's one here and one here. Two coils? So it looks like. Okay. Oh, on the back side there. Okay. We're gonna test for power on this coil. Okay. I mean, I know I have my test lights working. Yeah. Got power there at the switch. Okay, so this should be power to the one coil, and there's nothing. And that's power to the other. You can see on the light, there's just got no power. Up here, it's got power. Got power there. Taking a switch here and here, nothing. So we should have at least some. Got nothing. Hence or no spark. Okay, so we gotta figure out. Ooh. Is that a fuse panel? Uh, I think so. Accessory parking, horn stop, left turn, oil temp, neutral, fuel, suspension, turn, cancel tail, neutral lamp head. These are all good. I mean. So we're still. Or we don't know, we better see that. 
We don't know why. She swallowed the fly. Well, that too. Perhaps she'll die. But we gotta figure out why we don't have power for our coils. All right, so why weren't we getting spark? Well, I mean, we have power here now, see? Voila! Yeah, why? Mm, well, you see, when uh, you got, hey, stay. See this here? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our kill switch was turned off. So all the whole pulling off the saddlebags and the seat and fighting with all that just because the kill switch was off. Yeah, but at least now we get to the gas tank yeah. a little better if we need to clean it because yeah. it's pretty dirty in there. And then we can see the air cleaner. And spray carb cleaner, which we're probably going to have to. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't for nothing. All right, plug <sighs> it back in. Bet you we have spark now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 14 to see if this thing will start. Wow. Let's see if it's spark. Spark. I ain't gonna start. Yeah. yeah. Watch it start. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's spark. Still actually, got still spark. sparking. It's still sparking. It's still sparking. What was with that? Let's try that. Yeah. I'm not. I don't know if you can hear that. It's so weird. Why is it sparking? We're doing nothing. I don't know. Okay, well, extra spark. We got, got, got good spark. Got extra. <laughs> we got spark when it's not supposed to be sparking. Yeah, lots of spark. It's just sparking. Good. Well, I'll run oh, one now. percent off. No. Okay. Now we're going to pop this uh, fuel tank out. Just to have a look-see-do down in there. Ooh, there's some dirt and crud that's gonna fall in here, but hey. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, that smells like absolute crud. Oh, there's fuel in there. Fired up. <laughs> it smells horrible. It smells absolutely horrible. Wow. It's like somebody urinated <laughs> and then just left it in there. I guess okay. what else would you do at that point? <laughs> I don't know what that is down there. Wow. Well, okay. How about we say we're not going to pump out of that tank? Yeah, let's not. <laughs> I don't guarantee plug our carburetors up. Wow. Okay. Question answered. That tank is uh, nope. shot. What do you think, Ben? I think I, I'm, I'm a fan of the starter switch. This is better <laughs> than original. Hangs out. It's adjustable. Yeah, our battery's still a little dead. Yeah, but it works. Yes. <laughs> we so. we bypassed this one because um, yeah, it wasn't I, we doing anything. We just couldn't get to do anything. Okay, well, let's uh, see if the cranks... I uh, We have the spark plugs back in. We don't have a fuel cell hooked up, so... And my jump box isn't turning on. So I'll be back with you when I figure out why. Okay, see so if Ben's thing works. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Now we got to check and see if our fuel pump's actually sucking anything. I just have a hose. Woo! <laughs> Very <laughs> long, long hose. hose. All right. Okay. The, the, that actually, yep, it's, I've had my tongue on it. <laughs> it was starting to suck something. <laughs> the pump. Mm -hmm. that, yes. <laughs> well, I was just confused why you had your tongue on it, but whatever. Well, I can feel it better that way. Okay. Now. Gas. Yeah, we'll get some gasoline in here. And or do we want to try with carb cleaner first, just see if it fires? Sure. It wouldn't be a bad idea. It's more of a good idea than a bad one, so we probably should, should ignore it. <laughs> is this stuff flammable? <laughs> what is it? I think it's AC refrigerant. No! It's your R134A. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll be back. Phew. Oh, hey, starting fluid. Try it. Give it some wide open throttle or... And our jump box turned off. <sighs> Let's go uh, figure that out. Figure figure out a better jump box setup. These jump boxes only like stay intact for 30 <laughs> seconds or so. Don't give enough time to spray enough carb cleaner down or anything. Well, we got our jump box hooked up, which yeah. is otherwise known as a regular battery. And I'm going to spray some carb cleaner directly into one cylinder. And then we're going to crank it. Yep. These little things, these little screws, just one little screw comes out of there. Yep. See if it just goes, pa, pa, pa. Just, just a little bit. Just one cylinder. 
All right, go ahead. Ready? Yep. Yeah. No, not really. Uh, I'll just write it while you're cranking it. Go ahead. Wow. See, all, see what it's doing? It's just spitting it back out. It means that valve is stuck open. <laughs> okay, well, that valve stuck open. Next one. He, yeah. <laughs> sure. I wonder if we ought to pop that valve cover off. It's not that hard. Four Be bolts. True. Probably should. Let's no, see what's in there. Battery. I don't want to booger the gasket up. Oh, this is dumb. Oh. Oil looks really clean, though. It does. One of those got to remove the bar. Why? That is the intake valve. I don't think it's actually stuck. Oh. I think it's just not seated anymore because it was sitting so long. Oh, Good news okay. is this engine looks clean in there. It does. Oil's clean. That's, I mean, look at how clean the oil's yeah, down there on the ground. That is really clean stuff. That's cleaner than anything I got. Mm -hmm. So now we just finagle it and hope that it seals up eventually. Well, let's try to crank it again. Okay, so what would happen if we got to crank a little easier by just trying to, if we took all, if we took three spark plugs out? True. And we tried to try to get one cylinder going puff, puff, puff. True. You know what I mean? Yep. Because it would crank a lot easier if it wasn't cranking against compression. I Even mean, just two of them probably be better. What is clicking in here anyway? It says this. I don't know. It's for, this is for the radio. No idea. Mm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Well, crank spider. It's sparking no more. Is it trying to run? I think it's just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Not on that side. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Let me see if I have it. Sorry, I'm just here to pull out the obvious. <laughs> Can't get my finger down in the hole, so I don't know. Brake lights on. All right. Ready? Try it. It's trying. I'm probably running out of fuel. And battery. And battery. Battery and fuel. But the spark actually looks normal now. I don't know it what does. happened. I'm going to pull these drains out of the bottom of the carburetor. Oh. Uh, Wait, yeah. there is no way that fuel is going to be burning anytime in the near future. Oh, yeah? That's horrible. <laughs> but I'm curious to see if it's pumping anything through. Fired it. That was definitely the most progress we've ever had. <laughs> ever? Or on <laughs> this bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ever. <laughs> most progress we've ever had in our lives. Mm, okay, hey, look at that. Okay, you already fired up. Well, let me <laughs> thread this back in. And I want to watch this. I drain the float bowl in this one carb. Oh, it smells like crud. Yeah. I smell it from here. Yeah, let's throw this outside. Otherwise, that's going to stink the whole house up. Yeah, fire in a hole. I want to see if this is actually pumping any fuel yet. It's, there's a little bit of fuel coming through, but what's still coming through is just really nasty. Oh. Well, it had no sparky or no donkey donk. Donkey donk? Yeah. Kapoof. Oh, yeah. Try it again. Let's just see. Because I didn't even look at it and see if we got spark. Yeah. Okay. That fuel stinks. Mm-hmm. Hey. A little bit. It's trying. It's doing something. The stink bug crawled out. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I got evicted. I don't know if our fuel pump's actually doing anything yet. It might not hurt it. Just put a little clicky clack in there. Mm-hmm. Get a little something extra going. Or I guess the other thing we could do is just blow in the end of that for now. There's fuel in there. Okay. All right. Fuel you, pump. You here go, we go. You go ahead. Blow in there. I'll crank it at the same time. It poofs once in a while. Yeah, it is sucking. It's definitely sucking. But I can blow it completely through right now. Okay, I so... We should hook up a black. Yeah, we probably should. Just eliminate the fuel pump, because that could be actually shot and dumping fuel right down inside of the oh. engine, you know? True. Okay, Ben's going to crank this, and, uh, well, 
Watch this. <laughs> okay, we probably shouldn't do that anymore. It's, it's spread gas. <laughs> All up in the beams. Holy. Okay, well. Yeah, let's not do that inside. No, we're getting fuel down the cylinder. You got fuel over your camera. Did I? <laughs> well, that's not good. Wait. No. Okay. Okay, well, we got fuel now. Okay, well, that's not a good thing, though. <laughs> we need to, uh, I mean, I saw it down the cylinder. I didn't expect it to be quite that violent, but. We're gonna need to pull the floats off. Got gas everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whatever. All right. Well, we did not do anything with the float other than we're trying to tap on it a little bit. Maybe it'll get unstuck. You know. Tap it on with a ratchet. Yeah. Yeah. In the extension. Extension on it. Yeah. I'm cap. Put these plug wires hooked up. Oh, our spark plugs are off over here. The wires. Oh. Oh, we better put them back on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did that to drain the... To drain the bowls. The bowls. <laughs> we never put the spark blue wires back on. Got that now. Okay, let me hook this back up. Ooh. Hey. She okay. wants to. Try it again. Oh, this thing quit. Uh oh. Man, it wants to. We're getting it to crank over a lot faster now. <laughs> I might be running out of fuel here soon, too. Yeah, there's pretty much fuel down in those cylinders yet. Hey! Aha! She's alive. She's a runner. Okay, well, hey. She's a runner. Yes. Good news is, it runs. You heard it run. Now we gotta. Oh, there's a lot of little stuff to get together to fix. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Number one being stuck float bowl. But she runs. Actually, the engine sounds pretty good. It does. It wasn't knocking and carrying on. Oh, sounds, sounds like a good. Tell sounds like typical gold wing. Yep. Sounds like more like a vacuum cleaner than anything else. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it does run. All right. What do we got going on here? <laughs> we got a puddle. I can't quite see. There we go. You can almost see yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fuel. It's important to uh, lubricate your cylinders. Mm, no. <laughs> Otherwise known as, mm, yeah, it's filled up. Same thing over here. Not as bad, but you know, pretty, pretty close. So, so all our floats are stuck. It got hydro locked. Yeah, now Fire we're going to be taking the carburetors off. Yeah, trying to get them unstuck or key to clean them all up. Because that's just not how. All right, so we decided to pull the carburetors out because they're just filling up the cylinders. And we got them disconnected, but I can't get the dumb thing out of here. <laughs> oh, hey. If it all... You just start yanking? Yeah, if all else fails, start yanking. Something's holding up. <laughs> what a dumb carburetor setup. It's like an intake, literally an intake. Got nice what is going on? You're stuck. Yeah, really? <laughs> What's this? What is this? That thing is really holding me up. Hold on, I can't see with your hand there. Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> it was just looped around something. Oh. Yeah, you're stuck <laughs> on the bottom of the carburetor bowl. Really? Yep. How is this possible? You're not like a lot, lot stuck, but you're stuck stuck. That all <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> hey, you're stuck. <laughs> okay, got the carburetors off. What a pain in the butt. But they're off. You had to remove this little cap on the top side of the one carburetor and it cleared the frame because it was just smacking right up against here. But they're off. Man, what a mess. So, yeah, now I've got to clean them all up, get the floats all unstuck. Okay. Right, now we can actually work on it. It's not yeah. in the bike. Yeah. So that would be nice. It looks like a Subaru intake. It does, kind of. <laughs> got to take all those float bowls off of there. Yep. I guess you get to them, though. Yeah, exactly. Nice, rusty mess. And there's four. And you think you're one car carburetor's probably take four. Yeah, four. 
trying to count with my fingers. I was going to say, you that's, get confused? <laughs> that's a hard thing to do, count with your fingers. <laughs> All right, this is a needle here from the carburetor. I don't know whether you can see that, but you can kind of see it there. Bunch of junk on that, on that needle. It's actually really sticky. I had to pull it out with the pliers because it's just super junky. Anyways, got a couple of them moving now, so keep going. Clean needles out. Got my wire brush. Ugh. Or not needles, jets. Jets. <laughs> yeah, jets. All these four going here, just plugged, completely plugged. You should be able to see light through them. If you hold it up to there, can't really see the camera real well, but yeah, you can't see nothing. And no air to, blows through. No air blows through. No, nothing blows through. We've had them soaking for probably close to an hour in carb cleaner. You know, professional stuff. And But that's pretty much the last thing before we have to go back on the bike. Yeah, we got everything else in the carburetor freed up. Yep. Like all of these needle and seats are all freed up. The jets are freed up. Well, the main the main jets are. We have to put that one in, but it's done. Yeah, the uh, diaphragm. Yep, there was one of those that was stuck. Those are all freed up. This carburetor needed a ton of work. There's just no doubt about that. Got the carburetors all back together. Those were kind of a pain. Everything was plugged up solid. Found out something neat. This thing has like a throttle pump or accelerator pump to it. So now we get to stick them back in the bike. What do you think about that? I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> That's like trying to shove a baby back in. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. No, that doesn't work so good. No. <laughs> okay. No, it came out. Ish, but yeah. now I'm gonna want to go back in. This thing actually ought to run pretty good. Hopefully, that's our goal. Yep. Yeah, let's get it down in there, and we're gonna take the top of this fuel pump off too, just to see what's inside of there. That fuel pump right there, because I mean, maybe maybe it'll work. Maybe there's just a diaphragm that's busted. I don't know. How's it going over there, Ben? Good. <laughs> Got the carburetor back in, so that's a plus way overly complicated yeah but it is back together and in yeah those cables are a pain to hook back up down the side of here's two throttle cables for whatever reason and a choke cable so nice ben that's obnoxious <laughs> so anyway we are in the process of putting our whole bike together you probably can't see down inside that spark plug hole at all but there's no fuel in there anymore. They were all filled up. Now they're all emptied out. So that means they're down the bottom of the crankcase. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, drain the uh, fuel slash oil out. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting combination. Yes. See what this stuff looks like. <laughs> okay. It's really clean, that's for certain. Very clean oil. Lots of fuel in it. How's it smell? Thin. <laughs> smells thin? It smells thin. Okay. Oh, it smells like straight gasoline. This thing must have had an oil change done to it like right before it was parked yeah, or something. Uh, well, we just cranked the engine over. And we had some rags over the top of those cylinders down there. But uh, they launched Perfect and fuel. Boom. And went kaboof. Yeah. I'm amazed that that battery actually had a charge up. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it means our battery charged up overnight. <laughs> All right, so let's try it again. Ah. Uh. Yeah, they look pretty dry now. <laughs> surprise, surprise. That's cranking really good. Okay. It's cranking really good without spark plugs in it. Yep. So Ben's taking apart the fuel pump. Yep. Let's see what that diaphragm looks like. It's there. I see that. It's actually not all covered in crap. What does it do when we crank it over? Okay. All right. Here is the all back together now in this. Yeah, it looks a lot better. It looks a hang of a lot better. It looks like a motorcycle again. Yep. Of course, we got our quality ignition switch. <laughs> Running so much better. It runs great. Runs really good. I'll give her some gas. A little bit 
Extra Smokies. Yeah, but it's it's running it's perfectly fine. Cleared up a lot. Okay, that's. We'll even go in. Whoa! Really? Look, the clutch released. What? What? I hold the clutch and I'll let it out. Do it again. Hey. The clutch is in. Yeah. Now I'm letting it I'm out. Letting it out. What? The clutch has. It's working. That's amazing. I was actually worried about that. Okay. Can you find neutral? Back in neutral. Oh yeah, no problem. Water. Okay. That's that's really nice. I was worried about the clutch not releasing. But yeah, we're we're back together. Okay, sweet. I mean, when it we'll see if it's going to go on the drive when it's not pouring down rain and dark yeah. outside. Yeah, we can't do anything right now. It's too wet. <laughs> too much other junk in the way. But it technically is. I mean, we don't have any brakes. Yeah, <laughs> that brakes. That brakes. But we do have trees. <laughs> <laughs> this master cylinder over here is. Well, is there a, even a hose or anything attached? Yeah, the front one. But the okay. master cylinder itself is jammed in. It's stuck in. Okay. But the front brake's not locked up, which is good. Uh, this lower one is locked up solid, and it's disconnected back there. So that's that's good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Steering wheel turns. Or handlebars. It's not steering wheel. These things don't have steering wheels. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep you updated when it gets to be a little nicer day outside. We're going to take this thing for a ride. We're doing a cold start. See how she works. We're ready to take it for our first test drive. We really don't have brakes. This could be slightly terrifying. Uh, who needs brakes when you have a clutch? Yeah. Start holding wires together. Okay. Right wow, it's quiet. It's slightly quieter than a Harley. It's the purr of a Honda. That sounds like a gold wing. Yeah. All right, maiden voyage. Here we go. Barn fine gold wing. All right, now this is gonna be a little tricky here. Don't lay it over, Dad, don't lay it over. Don't lay it over. He can't stop it, that's the issue. Hoi! He managed to get it stopped in front of that uh, minivan there. Oh, he gone. He's out of here, man. <laughs> Not really. Here's, here's the issue. Did you run out of gas? We went through a gallon of gas in two miles. <laughs> <laughs> Something ain't right. She's thirsty. <laughs> How many miles did we go? Okay, 3.2 miles. <laughs> and we went through a gallon of the gas already. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Something ain't right. Nope. Refueling the professional gas tank. Mm -hmm. Got three miles of the gallon that last trip. That's not good. <laughs> That's, I guess the smoke is, is gas. I it's mean, uh, on the float is stuck. It's probably about the least fuel efficient vehicle on the planet right now, behind like battleships and cruise ships. <laughs> All right, I need your help with something. We uh, we know it runs and drives. Actually, it doesn't, not too bad. Carburetors need some work yet, but we found something. Here's what we're planning on doing. I'll show you here. You know, since this one needs quite a bit of suspension work, brakes, uh, none of that's working. We found a parts gold wing. Went and picked it up. Has a title. It was a running, riding bike. It's actually not in bad shape. Suspension's good, the brakes are good. Weird long exhaust tips on it, which are odd. <clears throat> it doesn't have carburetors, but we would have those. Need to do some work to them. This one has a key. We have it in the house, but it does have a key. So our plan is to put all the parts 
from that gold wing, all the good parts, the plastics and everything, the seat, carburetors, all that, onto this gold wing. Same year, same bike, just uh, this one's a lot nicer. <laughs> You can see like this stuff here is a lot better shape. It'll clean up a lot better valve covers and everything. And it only has, you know, 35,000 miles on. So it's a few more miles than the other bike, but not bad at all. The fuel tank's clean inside. It's a much, much more solid frame foundation to start with. So my question is, is wondering if that's something you guys would like to watch me do is transfer all the parts from that bike onto that bike, you know? I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm planning on doing it. Just don't know if I should record it. So let me know in the comments if that's something you'd actually like to see how it's all done. Or if you're just like, eh, you know, we enjoy getting the, the barn find running. That's not so much of a barn find here. It was a running bike. They just robbed parts off it for another one. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. I, it was a lot of fun getting that Goldwing running and it brought back a lot of memories, you know, riding an old Goldwing again. Uh, one of these vintage bikes it actually rides rides really good so i'm very very happy with it we're planning on putting a trailer hitch on it and this is going to be our our traveling bike pulling a little camper well, <laughs> little camper ish thing we made so all right thank you for watching if you like what you're seeing don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you would i appreciate it